Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Sean and Zeke for Pokemon Soul Silver. Hello. 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 Get to price a gym leader. You need to think before you skate. Whoa! Oh wait, to think skate. Oh, that's cute. Oh, such a good sprite. Look at them. I love that. And then they ski off the edge. It's great. <laughs> Flame oil. Okay, in between episodes, we healed up the team. We're, we've just basically gone straight to the gym, but we've also given Ian the experience chair so he can level up a bit. And Sunker now has the Shell Bell, again. Oh, okay. I didn't know that bit, I was getting a strength from Shell Bell. Yeah. Because my throat hurts. Mm. Got yourself any more tablets? No, I, I will get some basically whenever we're done. Because okay. it's not bad yet, but it's like it's getting a bit hoarse. Look at them, they look just like a character from Snowboard Kids. I was saying they look just like Brendan. Oh, whoa, they do. But hey, we're not playing games here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, Aww. dude. A little piggly. Piggle wiggles. Oh, he's bracing for impact. People, um, people always say that, like, Gen 2 is really boring Pokemon designs. I love them. Yeah, I think they're good. Like, they're not that much different from Gen 1 designs. No, people. Like, they're quite different in a lot of ways, like, um, there's a lot of very simplified designs. Hmm. You know, like, um, basically they, they made things have less, you know, there was less Pokemon that evolved into bigger thing with angrier eyes. Ah. You know? You know, like, Sentra into Furret is like, they're both pretty simple looking things, they're both got, like, Little tiny faces. There's a lot of brown Pokemon as well. Yeah. I hear, I hear people say that they're just kind of boring. I really like them. I mean, everyone's got their favourites, you know? Yeah. What's your favourite generation, like yeah. design wise? Gen 3. I think mine might be Gen 3 as well. And that's another one I hear people say, like, that's when I stopped enjoying Pokemon designs because, like, they got weird. Yeah, that's when the design got bad. I think I messed up. I think you did too. It's like, I love the Gen 3 designs, I think they're great. I think they're fantastic. The, the reason I like them so much is... Yeah, you got to push that one. Yeah. The, right. oh. the reason I like them so much is that... It's exactly the reason a lot of people dislike them. A lot of people say there's like... There's a lot of clashing colours and they don't like... How the Pokemon feel like they don't belong with the others. Is what I hear. Yeah. But, it's a tropical region. Yeah, so it's going to be tropical Pokemon. Yeah, I, w you know, I really like the designs in Alola too, and I feel like Alola and, and Hoenn have a lot of similarities in their design. Absolutely. Like, the fucking there's a big dancing pineapple. You can get why people don't love that one. <laughs> you know, I think he's kind of cool. <laughs> What's your least favorite then? My least favourite gen for designs. Yeah. Gen 5. Yeah? Yeah. I I can see that. I can see why. Yeah. Yeah, there's like... Seal. <laughs> My problem with, um... Like, I really like most of Gen 5, but there's a few real stinkers. Mm. Like, the fucking, uh... The genies that all look exactly the same. Yeah. And I wouldn't hate them nearly as much if there was just one of them. Yeah, if there was just one, it'd, it'd seem unique and fun, but there's three that are almost identical, apart from slight alterations. Yeah. Like, yeah. Same can be said for the monkeys as well. Like, I yeah. do quite like, like, Pansia, Pansage, and Pampor, but the fact that there's three of them. And three of their evolutions that are all just the same thing, slightly tweaked, is 
Yeah. It's lazy. Yeah. And like I, I understand how to take a few shortcuts. They redesigned like they did every Pokemon brand new in, in black and white. Yeah. So of course of course they're gonna cut some corners and it's fair. Like I still like it as a whole. I mean, you know me, I have various problems with Gen 5, but I think my biggest problem is that none of the designs speak to me. Except Stunfisk. Stunfisk I love. <laughs> Joltik is nice. Joltik's nice, yeah. I've got a soft spot for Tepig. Yeah. That's about it out of the whole of the new cast that they created just for that game. Hmm. Like, I got attached to the ones that I went through the game with, but design wise, it was like, eh, whatever. Uh, let me think, I'm sure there's a couple that you like. Well, either way, like, I know my, like, one of my favourite ever Pokemon designs is Scraggy and Scrafty. Mm. I think they're the best. That's fair. Good for you. Yeah. Here's my new girl. Oh! I want one of them. Well, you're not allowed one. Oh. <laughs> Um, my least favourite design-wise might be Gen... Hmm. 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 Oh, this one's used rest as well. Stop what it. What a bugger. I'd, I'd have to think about it. Oh, wait, no, I've got it. You got it? Yeah, I hate. I don't like the Pokemon Max and Y very much. I think they're my second least favourite generation. Yeah. I didn't really like the game very much, and I didn't like most of the Pokemon. When when they were teasing, like, um, the Alola region Pokemon, I was like, the game isn't even out yet, and I've got five things that I'm 100% using. It just took me a few minutes to even remember who the hell the starters were in X and Y. Oh, man. So, like, my problem with that gen is it's just... It's, it's not anything. Oh, it's forget it. <laughs> no, no, it's like, oh yeah, Fennekin, the fire type that I I took because, just because. I liked Quilladin a lot, the middle stage of Chaspin, I didn't evolve mine fully. Did I like him actually? Ooh, boy. Ooh, I remember. Um... Okay, I know there's gonna be some. Oh, Helion Tile. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm Goomy. I'm Goomy. But, yeah, they are two of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Like, again, it's it's hard to say because whenever I say I dislike this gen, you know, of course there's exceptions, but yeah. like, you gotta have a favorite somewhere. Yeah. Like all gens have got good <laughs> and bad Pokemon based on everyone's opinion, but some gens are just more stinkers for other people. Yeah. Talking about favourites online. Scary business. Mmm. Because you'll always get someone who takes it too personally. Yeah, it's like, you don't, dude. Like, there's so many different Pokemon because everybody's got a favourite. Yeah, I learned the other day that um, one of one of the people Charlotte works with, his favourite Pokemon's Machamp. And I was like, I've never heard anyone say their favourite Pokemon's Machamp. Yeah. It's just a big buff dude with arms. Uh, it's his favourite. Yeah, and it's like... like you know, I, I'm not mad at him for having that as his favourite, it's fine. <laughs> but a guy who likes Machamp probably isn't going to have my taste in Pokemon. Probably not, no. So, like, whatever. <laughs> I can kind of see him maybe liking Scrafty, but I can't see him liking Jigglypuff. Yeah. However, another dude I work with, his favourite Pokemon is Jigglypuff, as is yours. Who's that? Neil. N Neil? Yeah. He told me his favourite was Togepi. Yeah. Well, I guess he just likes his round cuteness then, like you do. He's nostalgic for them. Yeah. I know. I know he doesn't. Like I know he doesn't care about Pokemon anymore. Yeah. But he, he liked the old ones in the show. But it's like his little girl that comes round. So like she was talking about her favourites, and he mentioned his favourite. Yeah. And then Lee mentioned his favourite. Okay. Cool. So. And for the record, her favourite is. Ah, she's. I forgot which one it is, the evolution, the fairy one. She likes Sylveon. Sylveon, that's and it. And she likes Yuxi. Yeah. Everybody got a fave. Yeah. I've never heard anyone say Yuxi is their favourite Pokemon before. No, me either. And that was nice. 
Yooks is one of the more forgettable ones as well. I like him best out of those, that trio. Yeah. I don't know. No, I'm just sort of me, to me. I yeah. like that Yuxi is one of the few Pokemon that just has like, you know, the slit eyes, you know, like swine has got. Yeah. Hmm. I can at least get up and fight this person. Yeah. Get all the fights out of the way. Yeah, yeah, let's not worry about the puzzle yet. Woo! Woo! I even had snow come in with him, I didn't notice that before. Mm. Oh no, another Dugo! <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm out of headbutt, that's the main problem. <laughs> and they've probably got thick fat. Yeah. What moves have they used? Uh, well, the last one had... had rest. I don't know what else it had. Does it have an ice move? I don't remember. Let's try Dew Drop and reach the Okay. Because it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Dugon is a good example of weird favourites. It's one of my favourites, because I'm really nostalgic for it. Because it was in my team in red. Yeah. But just look oh, at it. Yes. Just look at it. It's just a white sea lion. Like, there's nothing to it. Yeah, design wise, it sucks, really. Yeah. <laughs> that went well. What's in that build? Like, design wise, I think it's worse than Seal. Yeah. Like, it's got less character. Yeah, Seal's at least got the big sort of like dog nose going on. Yeah, he, he looks silly. Mm. This one, it does look friendly. Like, it, it looks friendly, it looks elegant, but it also looks bland. Yeah. I don't know, character designs are always a fun thing to talk about. Mm. And Pokemon is just nothing but character designs. Yeah. Character design. Something I want to get better at. Oh god. god it's hard. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, I'm sad now. Me too. Murder! <laughs> Murder is the only thing that will sustain me. Thank you very much. Sure didn't. Oh, it's got freaking aqua ring. Yeah, use that like right away. Should we use light screen? We can do set up for the next person. And if we live, we can heal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, we're gonna live! Hell yeah! Ooh. Also, I know I've mentioned it a few times, but like I, I have to keep stopping to drink, so like sorry if I was getting picked up on the mic or anything. Yeah, you still got a sore throat. I do. I can hear it in my own voice now. Yeah. I think doing the voice of that executive might have made it a little bit worse. I, I don't remember what they sounded like, and we only did it like a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> they sounded, what did I say? I said they sounded like Big the Cat in a different time. Pitch. Yeah. No, no, that's not like that. Yeah, it's a big. That's game. <laughs> God, watching you try and do voices <laughs> is unbelievable because it's like. I don't. Like, you're trying to pull faces to make them happen, and I'm just like, no, you use your throat, you do. Yeah, but I'm having to make a face to try and move my throat because it's not often I make voices. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I got I got Charlotte to touch my um, to touch my Adam's apple before when I do that really deep fucking uh, claw from Inspector Gadget type voice. But it's all like, but it's all like this. And what I actually do is my Adam's apple gets sucked up into my throat, so my neck feels flat after I while I'm doing it. It's crazy because like it disappears and it just boop, yeah, it just back. it just goes. <laughs> Back out. It's probably really bad for my throat. It could be, yeah. But also, oh my <laughs> god, Ian! What? <laughs> you said B. You pressed B. Oh, I'm pressing B. Don't, don't give up. Don't on give up on rest. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Forget a move. Forget a move. Jesus Christ, Charlie, get it together. I'm, I'm trying. Why don't we ever gonna use on call? Probably never. I think in like the last. Two episodes, including this one. I haven't even touched it. Yeah. Then let's get wested. Yeah, like every other seal dugong. So yeah, let me try and chill. Let me try and remember this. Sounds like big the cat within a higher pitch. Right down. The sounds kind of like this. Bunk, donk. But higher. Me. Oh wait, what was he saying? Uh, I know price is secret. I've seen what he gets up to in there. 
Gerardo. Gerudo. Go, Gerudo! I love you! Password is... Hail Giovanni. Yeah. And there was that Murkros... What the fuck voice does he do? <laughs> it was like 20 minutes word? ago. The password is Hail Giovanni! That's the one. Oh boy! It's like if Mickey Mouse had a disease. A bit helium. No, because it's kind of... It's like Mickey Mouse's puberty. It's sort of like his voice is breaking. <laughs> oh, Mickey. That's Mickey when his balls dropped. Imagine him pre pubescent. <laughs> oh, that killed you. That probably spiked the audio and killed you. <coughs> it wasn't even that high. Okay. <laughs> Having a drink. Okay. <laughs> On the plus side, the fights are going well. Yeah, they seem like they're going great. Fuck when things fall asleep. You just they gave your Pokemon it. a move that makes it fall asleep. I know, that's why it was funny, because everyone else is using rest, and then he goes and learns rest, and it's hilarious. Wow, I'm so amused. Good. God damn, it really does look like a vagina. <laughs> Voltorb doesn't look that much like a vagina, Zeke. Yeah, I was talking about Voltorb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's an ice and water type. <laughs> Hit it in its weak point, that big... Massive damage! That big lump in... You know where. <laughs> it would be the big spike, that'd be the weak point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You hit the lump. Well, that made me think of its ghastly face in the middle. <laughs> it is a funny Pokemon. I wonder, like, I didn't hear the joke about it looking like a vagina for ages. Mm. And I guess that's because in red and blue it was sideways. Yeah. It totally rotated its design. It sure did. I know it's more weak, uh, especially. But. I'm not very good especially, so I'm hitting it super effectively with everything. Oh, okay. We've also with the chance of lowering its defense. Okay. Toxic spikes. A bit late for that. Mm. Smash! Oh, you crushed that fucking pussy. I don't remember what game it is, but there is a game where there's like, oh, there's a cute couple! And they send out uh, Onyx and Cloyster. That's this game. That is this game. That's this game. We fought them off camera, leaving the Safari Zone to go. Oh. To go do stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that cute little dog. Mm. Wonder if we could go back and fight them. Probably. I don't think it matters too much. It doesn't matter too much, I just think it's funny yeah. that someone at Game Freak was like, <laughs> yeah, couple with a penis and vagina monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I bet that Onyx is hardened. Probably. Look it up on Bulbapedia while you... Press secret. <sighs> it's a secret. The reason Price is strong. Because every day he sits on top of very cold ice and trains his body. Oh really, as opposed to very warm ice. <laughs> <laughs> you totally could have gone up then. Could I? Yeah. Why don't you go back and heal anyway? Oh, you big baby. I'm sorry. Wah, wah. My Pokemon aren't conscious. My pets <laughs> are hurting and they are almost dead. It Boo is true. Oh, wah, wah. Wow. Wah. Wah. Do you think he's going to lead with a Swinub? Uh, if he leads with a Swinub, I can lead with Peppy. But yeah. If he leads with a seal, I'm gonna have a few problems. I think, I think lead with Pippi. Okay. Because you know we we've got things that can switch into a water move pretty well. It's true, we do. I, I think his ace is a. Not, yeah, I think it's. Pilot ace, swine, I it? think it's Pilot Swine. But we talked about this on the episode, and you said that you thought it was Dugong. Yeah. So I'm unsure now. Maybe he has both. It, it does make sense for it to be Pyloswine, though. Because it's a Gen 2 Pokemon. Install Gen 2. 
Yeah, go right. Yeah, right. Up, left, left, left. Up. There we go. Okay. Fight! Press B. Pokemon, have, I too have seen suffered much in my life. <laughs> since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I've been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Oh. Come hither, child. I remember in... Oh, that's cool. I remember in Gold, Silver and Crystal he was wearing, like, shorts and, like, a vacation, like, polo <laughs> t-shirt in his ice gym. Yeah. It was a seal, I'm sorry. Hail Giovanni! Oh no, Price is in on it. <laughs> well, this isn't good. Hmm. No, this is lame. I need Pippi. This is Pippi. Yeah, but I need Pippi for pilot swipe. Oh, I see. I thought you meant you needed to switch to. No. <laughs> I guess Billy. I'm thinking Billy. I was thinking Billy or Ian. But Ian has no way of fighting back. Yeah, so let's send out Billy Quizball. Why not? Because you'll do the voice and I hate the voice. I can't do Billy Quiz Boy's voice. Well, no, not Billy Quiz Boy's voice, but what's her name? Dr. Storm? Um, is it Storm St. Clair? Storm St. Cloud. Storm St. Cloud? Yeah. That's Billy Quiz Boy's arch. Yeah. Mmm, Quiz Boy. We're talking about the Venture Bros, just so everybody knows. Oh man, we've got new episodes about to watch. Oh, dude. Venture Bros is great. Go watch it. Yeah, it's very good. Like... The first few episodes are a slog, but then you get to know the characters and they start doing good stuff. Yeah, like, the first... The very first episode... It doesn't suck, but, like, it's just there to establish characters and what they are at like a baseline, mm. but then very quickly they start putting the characters in like interesting situations and they start developing them. Like, it's not a spoiler or anything, so I'll talk about it, but um, in the first season, uh, Brock, he's, um, he's a big buff guy, he's a bodyguard, he seems like all he wants to do is kill people and fuck women. The, the first thing you see of him is he's playing strip poker with a bunch of like gangster assassins. Yeah, and like all he does is kill things because he loves it, and fuck things because he loves it. But then, really quickly, you start noticing that he's literally just a babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> Where like he tells like um, adventure boys to like go to bed and brush their teeth, and he's like he has to iron their shirts and make them lunch and stuff. And he loves that too, and it's brilliant. Mm. Recently learned that he's scared of spooky ghosts. He's scared of spooky ghosts. Oh no! Oh crap! I mean, crap. of course, the ice and ground type would have a ground type move. Yeah, of course, we're stupid. Whatever, it's burn. <laughs> yeah, whatever, burn. Burn. <laughs> Burning up all your fur. Quap it. Get out. Oh, of Ian, can do it. It's yeah. level thirty-four. Oh, that Dragonite nearly. Nearly. Yeah. Giovanni. Oh well, this is an ice type, isn't it? Hmm. I, I, I don't know! He has snow cloak type acts where he gets more evasion in hail. Okay, but also, why does everything miss? Uh, miss me with that inaccurate shit. Oh, no. Come on, surf him to do. Come on, Ian. Oh my god. This is not good. We're gonna have another wipeout. You think? I think so, yeah. I mean, I suppose I've got a uh, what's it called? Pop out after this. Yeah, and we've even got um, we've even got uh, Dewey if we really need to try and leech seed something. Yeah. Oh dear. Come on, Pop. Hi. Yeah, quick claw. Let's go. Oh, it's the fastest claw I've ever seen. He's the fastest surfer lion. Right, that's the ace gone. That must be his ace. It's gotta be his ace. 
That's Ace. That's Ace. It's Ace. That must be Ace. Yeah. Speaking of gym fights we wiped out, I recently edited that episode where we fought uh, Chuck. Mm. <laughs> Do you know how he described his his thing, his polyrath, using focus punch? No, I don't remember. <laughs> You called. You you said that he's about to use the big sausage punch <laughs> <laughs> because of his big sausage fingers. I don't recall that at all. <laughs> Made me laugh because it, it just sounds like you meant he was going to punch me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! He's going to use the big sausage punch. Oh, yeah, what? Ah. <laughs> oh, that did quite a lot. Oh my god, Quop. Come on, Quoppin. We've reduced its accuracy as well. Why aren't we using Amnesia? I don't, because I didn't realise we had it. Don't use it now, you need to heal. <laughs> I mean, I've got more chance of uh, healing against Dugong than I did against Pyrofoin. Yeah. Maybe it'll use West. Oh, I love West. Adam West. Yeah. Did Adam West die? I don't know. I think the I think he passed away. Who oh did? He was the best Batman. I've, I've heard many people say. I think you've just heard me say it a lot. Maybe. <laughs> he was he was the funniest Batman ever. Hmm? Huh? What's a Batman? Remember when Dean... No, no, when Hank was Batman in The Venture Bros. Hank was always the Bat. Yeah, yeah, the Bat. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do Hank's voice. You've got to, you've got to throw a few yeah in your words. Yeah, yeah, the Bat. I hope in the space of this episode you went and watched The Venture Bros. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you will or will not enjoy this episode. Oh. Not right! I know this episode's going on a little bit longer than usual. It's because but... we're finishing the gym. Yeah. Right. Try again. Rock Smash will be super effective. Well, yeah, but I want to bank on lowering their uh, defense. Not defense actors. I think you should. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not use whatever. I think you should rely on lowering its defense. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Man, price is a prick. Yeah. Yeah. That was is. doing roughly the same amount of damage. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Hype potion's good. I, I just meant we're at super potions, and now we're using like the really good ones. Well, it's ladder or lose. I, mean, I think I know what I'd prefer. I mean, I just prefer to not redo the fight. Boy, it missed. Good. I mm. knew it. I knew That's it. All right, now now we have a few turns to lower its defense. We got this. We got this. Punch it in its adorable face. Yeah. Punch it again. Yeah, quick claw punch it. Move quickly, then punch it. The momentum carries over, it does more damage. I'm lying. But it did lower its defense. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Very nice. Oh. Stalking and sick. It's using the ice. Ouch! Ding, 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 ding. Attacks take so long to execute. Game. They do, don't they? That is a quick attack, and yeah. it took forever. <laughs> oh, come on. Right. Whatever. I've, all, I've almost finished all my drinks, my throat's so dry. It's alright, you've got to keep your throat wet. It does, doesn't it? Stay hydrated. S not, not you. You're not allowed to be hydrated. Stop this! I hate these old men. <laughs> Woke up. <laughs> ah. ah! Fucking loser. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch it. It's got like Shere Khan or something. Shere Khan from the jungle book. He <laughs> just chokes a lion at you. Shere Khan oh, um, was a tiger. Was a tiger. 
There's no lions in the jungle. There might have been. There, no, there isn't. You don't know. I know, there isn't. They don't live there. Use the full restore. How many fucking items does this old dickhead have? Just die already! He's been training Pokemon since before we were born. Yeah? He's got so many items. He has three Pokemon and one of them's level 35. What's level 34? I'm just saying that more than our lifetime's achievement, he is not doing so hard. It's true. He is like 70 years old, and we are. What, what's your character? Like 10 in these games? 11? Yeah. Something like that. And look, we have almost caught up to it. It's true. But also, his speciality is falling asleep. Well, he's fucking old. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Go, Dugong, use. <laughs> Dugong. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! Finally! All it took was alienating every person over the age of seven. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, seems like my luck has... Well, uh, I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will... Uh, uh, <laughs> we just took the badge because he wasn't going to no, give it to us. mine. I've got to ask, what's that QR code behind him? <laughs> That's the gym badge, see? That's what he's giving Why us. is it so big? Because he likes to show off. Well, he's compensating for something. <laughs> it's <laughs> the cold, right. I swear, it's shrinking. It's an innie. <laughs> My penis is an innie. <laughs> yeah. Next time on Charlotte and Zeke, we'll play more Pokemon Soul Silver. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>